Hey folks, Matt from MarryTheImage.com. This is what I want to show you today. Uh, as you know from the last video, I just unboxed a 7300 um, Canon, and that is the version 2 USM. Uh, I've got the uh, the two kit creative lens kit, the uh, 10 to 18 Canon and the 50 f1.8, which these two are two of my top best value lenses for Canon for APS-C uh, bodies. And we've got the uh, venerable little M50 here. Now, I didn't put any on to show you what they look like yet because we need an adapter. And I had the Canon M adapter in before. Now we're trying out, this is the Velo adapter. And this is less expensive. Um, and I wanted to see how it worked. I'd actually heard from a good friend, Peter Gregg, that it works just fine. So I thought, well, Let's get it in and show you guys a different option in adapters to use for the M series. So uh, that's a, the box there. And let's see here. Build quality seems very similar to the actual. We got a little desiccant pack in there, which is nice. So we're not getting any moisture in there. But it seems pretty. I, I would give the Canon a slight nod on build quality. But this looks pretty good and feels pretty good. For the price difference, though, that could be the deciding factor because this guy is less. I'll put a link below, but it's, uh, I think it was like a third of the price or something of the Canon one. So let's get the Velo onto our, um, our M50 here. It's, it swivels on nicely. It sets up nicely. Now we've got a, uh, a tripod mount. Looks like you can take that off. Yeah, it's got a nice little thumb screw there to remove it from the adapter which reduces uh, size and weight so let's just take it off for now so you can see that's the size of this so for example 10 to 18 with an adapter well, we didn't show you that before because we didn't have this uh, adapter mounted so there we go that's the 10 to 18 on the m50 right there so not a bad size definitely bigger than the 1122m but i'm thinking it is one mil wider which you might think, oh, big deal, but one mil at the wide end of 10 versus 11 is actually is a bit of a big deal. It is a fair bit wider. Um, and um, it feels all right on the camera. feels a little bigger than the 1122, um, and it feels all right with the Velo. So let's get that one off. Oops, you know, I'm, I was almost about to take off the Velo. What we need to do is take off the, um, where's our release on the Velo? There we go. So we need to take that off and leave on our adapter because, again, all these lenses are um, not M lenses. So you need an adapter to use them with the M50. So let's get this. This will be a big guy. This will look almost a little funny on the, the M50. Let's get this on here. Let me line up our... Okay, so there's the 70 to 300. You can see it is big on the little M50, but equivalent field of view here of 450 so when you're out fully extended there you're getting an equivalent field of view of 450 mils in 35 millimeter terms which is pretty nice um it's not bad um i think ideally um you would want to use the tripod mount in this situation because you're not going to want the m50 i think i don't i don't think i want it, it it's probably okay but i would like to take the strain of the weight of that lens off of the M50's body mount, the, the lens mount. So I would be using the um, the uh, tripod adapter or tripod shoe, I should say, that came with the Velo. So we're going to be trying these out. We're going to be trying the M50 with the uh, 70 to 300. I'm really excited to see that. It's just a good reach, good range, and a good value in a lens. Um, we're going to try some more with the uh, 50 mil f1.8, which we already had in. And then we're going to try the 10 to 18 and see what we think of it versus the 11 to 22. Yes, it's a little bigger. Yes, it's not an M series lens, but it's a little wider. I think it's a little less expensive. And uh, if memory serves, I'm going to double check on that for you. I think it may be a little faster. This, this is a. Oh no, this is a 4.5 to 5.6. I was thinking it was a 3.5, but uh, so it's not, it shouldn't be any faster. Uh, but let me know if you have any questions about any of these lenses or the Velo adapter. Leave them in the comments below. Any questions about the M50 as we're continuing our review with it? I can tell you, I really like the M50. It's a pretty cool little camera. Not only does it look cool, it performs very well. Basically, a baby 80D that does 4K. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.